The third eruption of Norris Steamboat Geyser in Old Faithful. A warning from Yellowstone? Yellowstone National Park, USA. The unrelenting power of nature has once again shaken Yellowstone National Park as the Norris Steamboat Geyser has erupted for the third time in a matter of weeks, followed by an unusual and prolonged explosion from Old Faithful. Natural feature. You know, someday Old Faithful should actually stop. That's natural. That. This unprecedented activity has drawn the attention of scientists, tourists, and the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS. Using continuous GPS stations sparking concerns that something far more significant may be stirring beneath Yellowstone's volatile surface. A sudden explosion shocks visitors and scientists alike. It was just before dawn when visitors at the Norris Geyser Basin heard a deep, earth-rattling roar, followed by the violent eruption of Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, a colossal jet of superheated water and steam shot over 400 feet into the air, dwarfing even the most powerful eruptions of recent years. Witnesses described an almost volcanic-like explosion, with scalding steam hissing and roaring through the early morning mist. Just hours later, Old Faithful Yellowstone's most famous gaze erupted with an intensity unseen in decades. Unlike its usual predictable bursts, this eruption lasted nearly twice as long, with jets of water reaching extreme heights and lingering steam obscuring the entire viewing area. This wasn't like any old faithful eruption I've seen before, said one park ranger. It felt almost like the entire system was over, pressurized. It just kept going, and the force behind it was incredible. A chain reaction beneath Yellowstone? The rare back-to-back -back eruptions of two of Yellowstone's most powerful geysers have left scientists puzzled and concerned. The USGS has reported that pressure levels in Yellowstone's hydrothermal system are at an all-time high, with increasing ground uplift and heat emissions detected across multiple geyser basins. What makes this event even more unusual is that Steamboat Geyser and Old Faithful uh, are not directly connected. Um, and these things happen every year, um, and most of the time they're small. Yet they erupted with increased intensity within the same day. Could this be an indication that something much larger is happening deep beneath Yellowstone? Satellite imagery taken over the park shows that the land near Norris Geyser Basin has been gradually rising over the past month a sign that magma may be shifting below the surface. Geologists are now debating whether these powerful eruptions could be early warning signs of a more significant geological event a major hydrothermal explosion, or even the early stages of a volcanic eruption. The USGS issues an emergency alert. In response to this unusual activity, the USGS has raised the Yellowstone Volcanic Alert level from normal to advisory, signaling an increase in underground activity that requires close monitoring. Seismometers around the park have detected a sharp increase in minor tremors, with over 150 micro-earthquakes recorded in just the past 48 hours, a number far above the park's average daily activity. This is not a sign of an imminent supervolcanic eruption, but it does indicate that the hydrothermal system is undergoing increased pressure and instability, said Dr. Michael Poland, a leading geophysicist at the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. We are monitoring for any changes in seismic patterns, gas emissions, and ground deformation that could suggest further escalation. Tourists in awe, but fear grows. For those who witnessed the eruptions firsthand, the experience was both thrilling and terrifying. Visitors at Old Faithful described a thunderous rumble that seemed to shake the ground just before the geyser erupted. Some were left stunned as they watched the normally predictable geyser unleash an extraordinary and prolonged eruption that sent water far beyond its usual reach. 
You go, girl. It felt different, more powerful. Like the earth itself was warning us, said Ariami, a tourist from Colorado. And then we heard about the steamboat eruption earlier in the morning. It made us wonder, are these geysers trying to tell us something? Some tourists have begun canceling their trips to Yellowstone, fearing that the increasing activity could be a prelude to something catastrophic. Others, however, have flocked to the park in greater numbers, eager to witness the rare spectacle. Could this be the start of something bigger? The biggest question remains, what does this mean for the future of Yellowstone? The park, home to one of the largest active supervolcanoes in the world, has long been under scientific scrutiny. While the probability of a catastrophic eruption remains low, the recent surge in hydrothermal activity has raised concerns about potential steam explosions, increased geyser activity, and even magma movement beneath the caldera. Several key indicators will determine whether Yellowstone is on the verge of a major event. Seismic swarms. The recent spike in small earthquakes could indicate shifting magma or increased pressure in the hydrothermal system. If these tremors become more frequent or stronger, it may be a sign of an impending geological shift. Ground uplift and deformation. Recent satellite data shows that parts of the park are experiencing accelerated ground uplift which could mean magma is rising closer to the surface. Changes in geyser behavior. If more geysers begin erupting unpredictably, or if Old Faithful continues to deviate from its regular schedule, it could be a sign of underground disturbances. Gas emissions. Scientists are now measuring changes in gas emissions, such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, which could indicate magma activity beneath Yellowstone's crust. What happens next? As the world watches Yellowstone, the USGS continues to monitor the situation closely. Experts stress that while these eruptions are alarming, they do not necessarily mean a supervolcano eruption is imminent. However, the unpredictability of Steamboat and Old Faithful's latest explosions suggests that the underground systems of Yellowstone are more active than they have been in years. The National Park Service has not yet issued any evacuation orders, but visitors are urged to stay cautious, report unusual geothermal activity, and remain updated on park alerts. Could this be the beginning of a new phase of heightened geothermal activity? Or are we witnessing the first warnings of something far more powerful beneath Yellowstone's surface? For now, the park remains open, the geysers continue to erupt, and the world holds its breath waiting to see what Yellowstone will do next.